Hi everybody, thank you for tuning in to another video on TK's Tech Corner. We are dropping them out like flies today. Um, we've got some new Samsung goodies as you've seen, the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 4. We've also got the slim standing cover for it now, so I'm going to do a review on this case. You can see I've just finished recording the Galaxy Z Fold 4 video because I've still got all the bits lying around. So I'll just get them out of the way. The phone is still here. Um, I'm going to leave that in view because we're going to be opening up this case and we're going to be sticking it on there and seeing what it's all about. So this is advertised as a slim standing cover. I don't know how slim it's going to be, but we are going to find out. This is an official cover. I pre-ordered it with the phone um, so that when I get the phone, I can protect it out of the box pretty much. Not that it's protected yet, but it's going to be very soon. This, just to prove, I've just finished recording the video. I haven't even set it up yet. It's waiting for me to do a smart switch, which I'm going to do after I finish recording all the videos. But my priority is to share this stuff with you first rather than get the phone set up. Um, now, how on earth do I... Ah, there we go. Just drop it out. That's what you do. Um, first thing I want to check is whether or not these things still have these sticky things uh, that expect you to stick something to your phone and I think they do to keep it from sliding around now I don't like them I'm not gonna do it it means it does keep sliding around this one seems to have a bit of a lip on the inside so it's interesting cause the cases for the fold 3 never had this thin lip these ones actually have a very very thin lip I don't think you can see it right but I think that's going to stop this from sliding back and forth so now this might actually clip on properly which is great news it does seem to though however have some um, sticky bits inside so everywhere you see in these blue tabs there is a sticky pad so what you do is peel this stuff off and push this on your phone and it's going to stop from sliding around I don't like doing that I'll tell you why we're going to get to stand in a minute and I'll tell you why is because this these things do catch dust in the corners and if you want to brush the dust off that means you've got to peel this off now it's probably not that sticky it's probably just a bit of a resistance keep it in place but then how many times are you going to be able to move it on and off before those pads wear out or start making your phone gunky you know what i mean so i'm not down with that stuff i'm not going to be using those things i'm just going to be clipping back these these blue things that are st sticking out everywhere and then i'm going to just stick it on the phone but for now I'm going to try and stick it on the phone without taking them off just to see how it looks and see how it fits and then we'll stick the back one on as well and then I will go through the pain of removing these all over again just to take these little sticky tabs off because I don't like them and I'm definitely not using the sticky pads either so let's see what happens there we go that has clipped on nicely uh, it does look like it holds on to the edge of the device somewhat I don't know if that's on properly or not if it is cool if it's not still cool because I ain't got a choice right there we go I think that's on it doesn't look or feel as slim as my uh, my uh, carbon fiber case for the fold 3 which I absolutely love look how slim and gorgeous that is so elegant Probably still the nicest phone case for the Fold 3, minus a stand. And minus anywhere to hold your pen. Samsung, you need to get the pen in there. You can get that pen in there. Look at that. Sorry, I cut the video off there by pressing the button on the pen. So, Samsung, you had this in here, right? On the Fold, on the Note 10. You can get it in this phone. You can. You can do it. We know you can. So we'd love to see in the Fold 5 the pen inside the case, please. Or oh, sorry, in, in, the, in the actual phone sashi, right? in the actual phone itself. So the main part of this case is the stand. It is slim. It's not probably as slim as it could be without the stand, but it is very slim to have that much functionality on it, right? So you've got here the stand that pops out like that. Now, interesting, it's magnetic and it appears to be spring-loaded. Why spring loaded to go back versus infinitely adjustable to the angle you want? I don't know. So far, it feels a bit annoying. Just how am I going to stand it up? I'm going to have to. Let's find out. I'll get it on the phone. I'll do a bit of this sort of stuff and then stand it up like that. And I look at this. You can see it's spring loaded because when I stand it up without the phone, it folds itself back, doesn't it? And there we go. Why did they do that? I don't know. 
Let's see if it behaves differently once it's on the phone. So let's get this on the phone. Um, it's going to cause me, these tabs are going to cause me some problems now, right? Because if I clip the case on without removing those tabs, they're going to catch on. And with the case, with the fold closed, that is going to start catching on, right? So here's what we're going to do we're going to open it and do it. Right, we're going to get it on. It's gone on very nice and easily. Um, these official cases generally do, right? Not much fiddling with them. They're harder to get off than they are to get on. What I found with the Fold 3 is if you want to get it off, you generally hold it around the camera system and you peel this corner off first, and then you can get the rest of the case off. So it's on there, right? Oh, it's not closing. Why is it not closing? Is it this plastic tab? Yeah, these tabs are stopping it from... Wow, I didn't think these tabs would be so thick that they stopped my phone from closing, but anyway, they are. Right. They're very annoying. There we go. Right, so it's closed. Um, it's not adding too much bulk. Again, it's not the slimmest case by any means. Whilst they were at it, they could have really closed. And I'll keep banging on about it, but they really could have got rid of that in it. They could have got rid of that just by making one of the sides of this case a little bit thicker and it would have sealed off that gap there so when i put this thing in my pocket I'm not getting dust inside because that is a pet hate of mine with these folds unfortunately so you can see the back is a little bit thicker what does that mean when it's open does it lay flat that's important for me as well because when i write on it now unfortunately not you can see i mean it, it probably won't wobble much because it's even but the back is thicker than the front and that's because of the stand I don't know if I'm going to enjoy using this case or not, to be honest, but this thing here, this spring loaded is a no-no. This should have been like the, you know, the stands in the tab keyboard case and the stand case where you can basically just adjust it on a hinge. If that had a hinge that allowed you to hold it in position, it would be a lot nicer. Now with the fold on it, you're getting one angle out of it. It's a nice angle. Yes, it is a nice angle. Um, it's going to be perfectly useful not useless when it's standing like this that's fine uh, i guess when i pick it up it will just close itself which is also that's nice but then the standing up bit you've got to sort of do this thing where you're you know you're holding it out while you're putting it down all right it's not the biggest chore in the world but just something to note and then obviously we lay it down flat and let's lay it down um this side is sticking up a little bit when I'm writing, is it going to cause me a problem? Probably not, because if I'm writing like this, I'm not going to get any notes. It's not going to wobble. Okay, so that's fine. So when I'm taking notes on there, it's going to be fine. It's going to be absolutely fine. Um, and the main thing is, for now, it's going to protect my device, which is, well, hey, that's what I need, because I don't want to take this out on the first day and, and then write it off. Uh, I am very careful with these things because they're expensive, and I do like to look after my devices. Um, I do handle them carefully, but every now and then, you know, accident, never know. Thing could go flying out of your pocket or your hand, just by accident, and it's a goner. So there we go. The slim standing cover for the Galaxy Z Fold 4. I am going to be doing some reviews on some other cases in the very near future, so watch this space. If you want to see me review any particular case, please let me know which case you would like me to review. If I can get hold of it, I will by all means do a review for you. I'll put it on the phone. You can see what it looks like um, before you go ahead and buy one yourself. Um, but there you go. Uh, that is, it's nice. It's got a nice soft finish. It's not leathery or anything like that. It's a soft, soft touch, sort of plasticky finish. It's not rubbery. Um, it's smooth. It's matte. It's not glossy. It doesn't look cheesy. Yeah, it looks a little bit thicker on the back. But you know what? It's going to protect my nice new phone. And that's the most important thing there. And the front doesn't slide forward and backwards like the old ones used to. Look at this. So this one here, obviously, because there's no... Oh, it's not that bad, all right. But it, it, it can slide off a little. You can see it can move a little bit, right? This one can't because it's got a tiny little lip that's keeping it on the front cover. Brilliant. So if you've enjoyed the video, uh, please leave a thumbs up. If you have got any questions about this case whatsoever, please ask them in the comment section below and I'll be happy to answer your questions. If you want me to record another video to show you something, let me know, I will do that. Um, and if you haven't already subscribed, please do support my channel uh, by hitting that subscribe button in the bottom right hand corner below. Thanks for watching, take care and all the best.